Drift net fishing, if done correctly, is one of the fastest ways to train both your hunter and fishing. It's a method where you chase fish shoals into drift nets, and when they enter the net, you gain XP scaled to your levels. It requires 47 fishing and 44 hunter to do. You also need access to Fossil Island, as well as diving equipment. Using a trident, whether it be a trident of the seas, swamp, or a merfolk trident, you'll significantly increase the chance of successfully catching a shoal into the net. I'll show you exactly how to do the method in a moment, but I want to talk about the XP rates and what levels it's worth doing. I've tested drift nets on accounts with a broad level range in the two skills to see how catch rates and XP rates are affected. The amount of XP you get scales to your levels, up to level 80 hunter and level 70 fishing. The chance of successfully chasing a shoal into the net very dramatically changes with your level. But if you use a trident, the chance of success is close to 100% all the time, even at a lower fishing and hunter level. I'm not sure whether this was intentional by Jagex, but the rate of catching is very much the same in the level 50s as it was in the 90s, only because I was using a trident. With full concentration, you can easily catch 950 to 1050 fish shoals per hour, which gives you these XP rates, and they're surprisingly high. Let's say you have 60 fishing and 60 hunter. The best method to train is barbarian fishing, where you can expect about 39k fishing XP per hour normally, and if you're 3 ticking, you can get over 65k per hour. As well as that, you get one tenth of those rates into agility and strength, and if you bring a knife, you get one fifth to cooking as well. The fastest method for hunter at level 60 is red salamanders, where you can get a maximum of 85k XP per hour. With drift net fishing at these levels, you get 67k fishing XP and 82k hunter XP per hour. Since you're getting both fishing and hunter XP, to make it comparable with the other methods, you can perceive it as 30 minutes of fishing and then 30 minutes of hunter. The drift net fishing method is considerably faster, like a lot faster, at level 60. What about at level 80? Your XP rates can consistently reach 77k fishing and 100k hunter XP per hour. At level 80, the fastest fishing method is 3 ticking barb fishing again. 3 ticking, you get up to 90k. At 80 hunter, the best method is black chin chompers, where normally you get around 180k XP per hour. And with an alt shooting the stray chin chompers, you can get up to 210k per hour. Comparing that to drift net fishing, you particularly get a lot more fishing XP per hour, although the hunter XP is slightly better at black chins. Only if you're using an alt though. Onwards from level 80, drift net fishing won't become any faster. So this means the traditional methods are the better option, particularly for hunter. The agility experience is another fairly big trade-off. If you were to get 99 fishing at Barbarian Fishing, you'll get 1.3 million agility XP, getting you past level 70, whereas with drift net fishing, you'll get none. Currently, with drift net fishing, you lose money at lower levels, where you can only catch the low level fish. Above level 70, you can make around 200k coins per hour, with more profit at the higher levels, reaching 300k. As an Ironman, drift net fishing can be hard to do consistently since you need to create the nets yourself. You need to farm jute fibers in hop patches. They have a fast 50 minute growth time, but there's only four hops patches in RuneScape. Each patch will give you approximately 14 fibers if you use ultra compost, and you use two fibers to make a net. So every 50 minutes, you can only get 28 nets from all of the patches. If you're willing to make drift nets, it is a great way to get high level fish on an Ironman at a very quick rate. So now I'm gonna show you how to drift net fish to get the best possible XP rates. To be able to drift net in the first place, you need 47 fishing and 44 hunter, as well as access to Fossil Island, which is the Bone Voyage quest. You also need a diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet, which is made during the Pirate Pete subquest of Recipe for Disaster. You need a trident. A merfolk trident has no requirements to wear, but it costs over 700k. You can use a trident of the seas or swamp, where the seas is only 43k, but you need 75 magic to wear it. Having a trident is a requirement to get the XP rates that I showed. It's highly recommended to get flippers as well, which you can get with level 32 Slayer and the Skippy and the Mogus mini quest, which is very fast. Flippers allow you to use run underwater, which is vital for chasing the fish shoals. Gear wise, you need to wear the apparatus, fishbowl, and flippers. You should also wear graceful in the other slots for their slight run regeneration effect. In your invent, you'll need your trident, stamina potions, as well as numulite. I was using around five full stamina potions per hour, and you'll need at least a thousand numulite, but ideally you want a few thousand, so five to ten thousand. You'll also need noted drift nets, and you'll be able to unnote them within the method. To begin, you need to make your way to the small diving island north of Fossil Island. The fastest way there is using a dig site 
independent to Fossil Island and use the Mushroom Teleport System to Mushroom Meadow, where then you run east and the boat near the Ammonite Crabs takes you to the island. From here, you right click the boat and dive underwater. You can't do that while you're wearing a weapon though, so this is why your trident should be in your invent. Once you're underwater, the entry to drift net fishing is very close to the north. To partake, you pay Sito 200 Numulite, and that gives you 24 hours of entry. Alternatively, you can give her 20,000 Numulite for permanent access. Once you're in here, you need to pass the seaweed door and then you can put on your trident. With your noted drift nets, you can right click a net and press nets. Here you can store up to 2000 drift nets and you can give them to her in noted form then withdraw them as unnoted. So now that you're set and ready to start, you can go ahead and set up the two drift nets in their locations. Each net requires one drift net and they can catch up to 10 fish shoals in each. Once they're set up, you have to click on the fish shoals to chase them. And after a few seconds or even instantly, they'll make their way into the drift net. The shoals can easily get stuck behind each other. So you need to prioritize the ones that are already close to the nets to have a better chance of chasing them in. It's best to ignore any fish shoals that are near a net and near the seaweed door since they have a really high chance of getting stuck behind each other or an in-game object. Fairly quickly, your nets will become full where you can see they puff up full of fish. You can also use the Driftnet Runelight plugin to see how many fish have gone into each net. To harvest them, you click on them and then press one or click the first option to open the harvest screen. Here, you should press the bank all button, then press escape to close the harvest window. You'll also get puffer fish, which won't be banked, and there's no point keeping the puffer fish since they'll just fill up your invent, and with the diving apparatus, you have no need for them since you have oxygen. Pressing escape will destroy them, which is faster than pressing the discard all option, then going on to close the window. So these are the main pointers you'll need to follow to get the max XP rates. Firstly, you need to reset up your nets as fast as possible. This obviously speeds up your rate, being able to get back to training faster, but there's also some fish shoals that are already on their way to the net, and if you harvest fast enough, they'll enter the new net. It's a good idea to use the Runelight plugin for drift nets because it shows you which of the shoals you've recently chased so you don't chase them twice. The next tip is to swap from net to net depending on how many shoals are in the area, but don't swap too often. A lot of the time you'll notice that the shoals are flocking near one of the nets, so target those shoals around that net and wait until new shoals spawn and crowd the opposite net. And as I mentioned, avoid chasing any of the shoals in the far corner, there's a very good chance that they'll get stuck. So that's how to drift net fish effectively, it's the best way to train your fishing and hunter level until level 80, where the traditional methods will slowly become faster as you go to a higher level. If you weren't aware, I'm selling huge gaming mouse pads on my merch store. They're 36 inches long with enough room to hold a huge keyboard as well as lots of room for your mouse. They're stocked in North Carolina in the USA, so shipping to USA residents takes only two to four days. To Canada, it takes about a week and worldwide, it can take one to two weeks depending on where you live. I'm really low on stock at the moment with a restock coming in shortly. So if a mouse pad is out of stock and you want that one, you can register your email to be notified when it's back. So that's my Driftnet fishing guide. If you learned something today, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more old school RuneScape content. Thanks for watching.